guests, welcome to today's Celebrity Big Brother updates and spoilers. Here are our lovely house guests of the day. Thank you guys so much for the support. We really, really appreciate it. And whoa, we only have a few days left of this season. Isn't that crazy? So yesterday when we left off, they just had the power veto ceremony. And of course, Ari used it on herself because, duh. And then Marissa was nominated in her place. So that means it's Marissa versus Brandy up on the block. And I can tell you guys right now, Brandy will be going. <laughs> So anyway, um, the feeds came back after the ceremony and Marissa is already off on her own, already packing her things. Puppies here! Can you say dramatic? I mean, really. So then, I mean, on the plus side, if we're being real right now, it was nice to have a few minutes of, like, silence without, you know? <laughs> so anyway, Brandy is ready to have some fun, aka stir up some sheet. so... Keep in mind, too, while she was doing what I'm about to talk about, she was wearing her Super Mario gloves. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. She does those freaking, like, hand... It's like a face mask, but for your hands, so that your hands look young and beautiful, and, like, you can be a hand model still on Zoolander. She's wearing her Super Mario gloves, and um, she says to everybody in the kitchen who's just eating lunch, should we play the game of what you would have done if you were HOH? And Ross is like, nope. <laughs> and James is like, I think we all know the answer to that. So then Brandy says, it was really a dual HOH, right? You guys, meaning James and Mark, were in this together. And Mark is like, no. It was like when Ari was HOH and you and Ari uh, were always together and you said that you guys don't make the same decisions. And then Brandy was like, I guess. <laughs> Shut down by Mark McGrath. All right, so then Mar uh, Marissa and Ross were chatting in the landmark room, and she's starting to freak out a little bit. She's getting nervous. This is her first time up on the block. So apparently Brandy made some sort of comment like, we should all sit in the living room and tell everyone why we deserve to stay. <laughs> yes, please. That would be amazing. House meeting, please. So Ross is like, Brandy is going to blow everything up before she leaves. We need to just freaking stay calm and don't let it affect us. Who knows what's going to come out of her mouth next. And then I was like, what is going on? Because Ross and Marissa were like looking at a cookbook. Where'd you get that? <laughs> it was like some sort of Big Brother sanctioned cookbook, but still like... I didn't know they were allowed to have those in the house. I don't know if they always have stuff like that or if it's just because it's a big, it's a celebrity season. But it was like one of those, is it keto? Keto diet? Yeah, it was a keto diet cookbook. So high fat, protein, low carb. I, I think that's what it is. Interesting. Okay, so anyway, Omarosa, Ari, and Brandy were having a strategy chat in the kitchen. And Brandy's telling Ari, I know you're loyal and you're my friend, but you really need to just vote with the house because I would need Ross's vote to stay and I'm not going to be able to get it. So then Omarosa is like, all right, well, we need to make freaking big moves to justify winning this game. We need to have something to tell the jury about if we make it to the final two. So we got to take out James and Ross. That's all there is to it. Oh. So those would be big moves. So then Ari brings up, like, I think Mark is waiting for us to go talk to him in the gym because he kept saying, like, all right, I'll be up in the gym if you want to say hey or whatever. So she's like, maybe he's, like, hinting that he wants us to go and offer some sort of deal. So Omarosa thinks it's worth a try. Brandy, however, does not think that she has anything to offer him. I mean, at this point in the game, what do you offer? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but they go through the numbers. Well, I mean, you can still offer things, but it's like a tricky situation because of the breakdown of who's left. So they go through the numbers, and of course, Marissa will have Ross and James voting for her to stay. But Brandy will have Ari and potentially Omarosa. Omarosa's been saying, like, if you can get that third vote, I'm definitely in. And, uh, if it's only two votes, if she could convince Mark to keep her, Mark would be the one breaking the tie. But Brandy's like, yeah, um, Mark and James are basically sharing this HOH, and we know what that James-Brandy relationship is like. So, Om Omarosa's saying, maybe you can put more pressure, more pressure on Ross, you know, remind him that the whole world is watching, and they saw him make that final two deal with you, 
it's gonna be really crappy if he goes back on that. And Brandy's like, yeah, because he made me pinky swear on our final two. Pinky swear is a big deal, okay? That is a binding agreement, especially if you take if you change it into a handshake at the end or if you do the kiss thing, that's the next level. So then Brandy's like, all right, I guess I'm gonna have to talk with Mark without James and Ross without Marissa. It's hard to get those two alone. So then a little while later, <laughs> Brandy calls everyone to the living room. She is holding a laminated piece of paper and acting like she has an announcement from Big Brother. Ross and Omarosa were sleeping at the time. They wake up for this. They go to the living room. <laughs> so by the time everybody gets there, Brandy is like freaking laughing her ass off, just trying to like prepare herself to read this. So she's like, all right guys, I have an announcement from Big Brother. So she's like, hello contestants. First of all, Big Brother would never address them as contestants, so you know it's bullshit. Then she's like, this is how to fit your halo hair extensions. <laughs> it was directions for her hair extensions. So most of the house guests seemed pretty pissed uh, that Brandy pulled this because they were all like pooping in their diapers, thinking that there was some sort of twist this week. And Brandy's like, oh my god, have some fun. It was a joke, you guys. I think it was pretty funny, but I probably wouldn't feel that way if I was in their shoes. So then Marissa's joking like, well, I know I'm definitely not going to go home now. Unfortunately. Okay, so then Brandy and Ross were chatting in the landmark room, and wow. This is what they were talking about earlier, her and Omarosa. It's time to put more pressure on Ross. So Brandy's like, do you know what you're going to do tomorrow? And Ross is like... Yeah, uh, vote you out. So he's telling Brandy, I'm sorry that I didn't tell you you were going up on the block because apparently that was one of the conditions of their final two agreement that they were supposed to tell each other if they knew that the other one was going to go up on the block. And it's like so obvious that Ross knew she was going up, but he didn't tell her. So he's like, I forgot that that was part of our deal. Plus it was really awkward. Like I didn't know what to do. So then they talk about how they made their deal very early on and Ross didn't know anybody else coming into the house except for Brandy. I guess they had some sort of relationship before the show started. So he's like, I meant it. You know, I wanted to keep this deal, but everything in the house changed so quickly and so drastically. You got really close to Ari. I got really close to Marissa. And Brandy's like, yeah, but like, I never made a separate deal with Ari. The only deal we have is the final four deal with you and Marissa. So then Ari comes in with a sandwich. She's got her snack. She's ready for the show. So Ross is talking about how Marissa stood by him when he was up on the block. Talked about this yesterday. Brandy was on the block next to Ross. <laughs> What do you want her to do? I feel like he was really, really reaching here, looking for some sort of reason for turning his back on Brandy. But again, I think he's reaching. So he also heard that Brandy supposedly told Omarosa that he was targeting Omarosa. So Brandy's like, no, I never said that. My words were twisted. And Ross is like, well, I thought the deal was done at that point. And Brandy's like, well, why didn't you talk to me about it? Mm. And then Brandy's saying again, like, she never asked for votes, even when she was up on the block against Ross. So then Ross is like, well, I was always afraid of what you are going to say next, and it was really hurting my game with your erratic behavior. And Brandy says, you had an alliance with almost everyone. I think that's what hurt your game. Oh! <laughs> Ouch! So Ross is denying it. He's like, I didn't have an alliance with everyone. So they're going through all the people... And he's like, no, I didn't. And then Marissa comes in, and Brandy asks her to leave. Oh, so Marissa has to leave, but Ari and her sandwich get to stay. So then Ross is telling Brandy, I'm in an impossible position right now. Marissa has been the most loyal to me. And Brandy's like, yeah, but I knew you before this game. You were the one who came to me and offered me a final two deal. You pinky swore. Ross is, he's apologizing. He's like, I'm sorry. I just couldn't stay true to you. Other people were more loyal to me and that's all there is to it. So then Brandy's like, okay, fine. But <laughs> Omarosa swore on God, her husband, and her church that she will vote for me to stay if you agree to do the same. You know, if you vote to keep me and then I'll stay and we can get rid of James. And Ross is just like, Mm, like how what are you even talking about so Brandy's like well 
if you think about it, the next HOH competition, it would be James versus everybody else because Mark won't be playing. So me, you, Omarosa, and Ari. And Ross is like, I can't work with Omarosa. It's not going to happen. So he just keeps saying, like, I'm so sorry. Translation, no. <laughs> so Brandy is, say is like, we have an opportunity to get James out and you won't do it. That sucks. So eventually Brandy's just like, I'm done. Great working with you. Remind me to never do that again. <sighs> Conversation over. Brandy leaves the room. So Ross and Ari are alone after Brandy leaves. And Ross is like, I just couldn't stay tied to that behavior. And Ari's like, mm, I still am. <laughs> so then <laughs> she's telling him, you got to do what you got to do. That's all there is to it. So Ross is like, yeah, but she gets the whole house to hate her and then blames me that I can't save her. So Ross really regrets making the final two deal with Brandy. It's made a very messy situation for him. Ugh. All right, so the rest of the night, um, Brandy was really desperate for wine. She knows that she's in trouble and she just wants to unwind a little bit. So Marissa and Ross are like, oh my God, she keeps asking for wine. Come nine o'clock, it's gonna be time for pop TV and she's gonna pop off TV. So <laughs> they're like, we need to go to bed early and just avoid all of this. So Big Brother does end up giving her wine. I think it was like 8.30 p.m. And it took her a long time to find the corkscrew. <laughs> so sad and big brother kept showing us that it was next to this cluster of salt lamps eventually they did find it and she did have her wine but it was actually a really calm night um brandy and ross talked again this time it was much less tense and they were just like it's a game we're gonna be fine on the outside might be a little bit pissed now <laughs> no not gonna get into it again but we will be fine so ross apologizes again that he has to break their deal and then he's like Will you do me a personal favor? Just please don't be too mean to me because my mom is watching this. That's so sad. And Brandy is like, I haven't been mean to you. <laughs> All right. So then Ross promises to pay for happy hour for the rest of their lives. I thought he was going to say like next week and then never again. But he said for the rest of their lives. You are talking to Brandy Glanville right now. Are you serious? She's gonna freaking drink you dry. I uh, Drink you out of house. I don't know, but wow. Okay, so then Ross is bouncing his game plan off of Brandy for the rest of the game. He says he's gonna keep staying close to the middle. Um, what? Is that your whole plan? Like, this is it. This is the finale weekend. You gotta make some freaking moves here. So Brandy's like, I know that you have this thing with Omarosa, but you really need to get rid of James first because if you don't, you're just handing him the check. And I would have to agree. I think he definitely needs to take out James over Omarosa because I just don't see them voting for Omarosa. Even if she plays the best game, they're not gonna do it. They don't want to. So I don't know why he's like so intent on getting rid of her. But anyway, today, the feeds have been down pretty much all day. Um, this is typical for an eviction day. They usually go down for a while while the house guests are on an HOH lockdown. But they usually come back a few hours before the eviction, but they haven't yet. So I don't know if they're going to or if they're just like, eh, it's a double eviction, <laughs> whatever, we need the feeds down. I don't know. But it should be an interesting night. I'm assuming Brandy will be leaving first, and then who knows what's going to happen after that. It's going to be interesting. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, and until tomorrow, much love.